Oh look, new intro. Fighting games are awesome, from their characters to their storylines. These games are just about for everyone, from the casual to the competitive. Me personally, I'm pretty much in the middle, but what we're really here are for the fighting game finishers. I'm the Hellfire Monkey, and welcome to the top 10 fighting game finishers. Also note, there are some entries in this list where I'm not going to be putting the play before put rule, but there are some in here that I actually have played. So. Without further ado, get your coins ready and head to the arcade. Let's do this! Number 10! Mortal Kombat, the series that pretty much made the ESRB rating system with its violent score and brutal fatalities. And when it comes to these fatalities, I look for the most creative. So number 10 goes to Triborg's Death Machine. Triborg wins fatality. The move starts off with the three combining to a giant death machine, then they pull the enemy into them, which the enemy is now eviscerated by Cyrax's buzzsaw, while at the same time being crushed by Sector's compactor, turning into a packaged meat. Jeez, these guys should work at a deli. Soul Calibur, a tale of souls and swords, featuring characters from all over the world. Ever since the fourth installment, we got critical finishers, and I think my favorite one has to be Zwei's Werewolf Confess. Zwei summons his Werewolf Ein, which charges at the opponent, knocking them to the air and then slamming them back down to the ground. Well, this is gonna break a few bones. Eight. Guilty Gear is a weird series with its zany characters and very bizarre storylines, and each character has their own instant killing move, which, well, instantly wins the match. Out of all of them, I'm going to go with Venom's Dimu Borger. Venom turns his opponent into a pool ball, then summons a bunch more balls, then he hits the white ball, smashing the rest of them onto the opponent. After seeing this, I might go on to play some billiards myself. Number 7 In recent years, Killer Instinct pretty much became the only reason why you should own an Xbox One. With this installment, it takes the ultras and syncs them up with some epic music. And I'm actually a bit of a kind of a rock fan, and my favorite element is fire, so I went with Cinder. Talk about a blazing victory. Shut up, I thought it was funny. Number six.
I recently got into Skullgirls myself, and I have to say I'm having a pretty good time with the game. It's full of references from horror to old cartoons, which brings me to number 6, Goodfellows. <laughs> This move can only be performed out of a grab. Peacock will get her friends Andy Anvil, Tommy Ten Tons, and George Bomb kicking the opponent while they are down. Then she'll walk away with a cigar and throws it at George and exploding him. And boom goes the dynamite. Number 5. Arcana Heart is a series with an all-female cast, which is another series I actually got myself into. It has super cool moves called Critical Hearts, which I went with the most brutal. After you place two anchor points, you start getting chains all over the screen, then slamming them into the ground multiple times, then practically hanging them. And apparently the name Wolkenkratzer means skyscraper in German. The more you know. The first hole. I love the Super Smash Bros. series, and in recent years, my new favorite game became Kid Icarus Uprising. So when I saw that Palutena was announced, I was excited to see who what our final Smash was going to be. Watch this. She traps them to a black hole and then fires a giant laser at them. Never mess with the Goddess of Light. Number three. The Street Fighter series is practically the king of all fighting games, with its memorable characters and super moves. So I went with Charlie Nash's Judgment Saber. I'll end you. He does some sort of shadow teleport, then strikes from the back with a sonic buzzsaw. Wow, Nash has really stepped up this game this time. Number two. Pokémon Tournament takes the best of two worlds, the fast-paced fighting of the Tekken series and the memorable characters of the Pokémon series, such as Blaziken, Lucario, and Machamp. In this game, we have Synergy Burst, which pushes your Pokémon to the absolute limit, and I went with what I think looked the coolest to me, Sceptile's Forest Flash. Of course, the burst I like comes from one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Subtitle leads with a giant leaf blade, then followed by what I can only describe as a frenzy plant. It's cool, it's flashy, what more do you need? Well, let's see what number one has in store for us. Before we get to the number one spot, let's have a quick recap in case you guys forgot what was on the list. Number 10, Triborg's Death Machine. Number 9, Zwei's Werewolf Confess. Number 8, Venom's Dimu Borgir. Number 7, Cinder's Ultra Combo. Number 6, Peacock's Goodfellow. Number 5, Charlotte Crot's War Chain Vulcan Kratzer. Number 4, Palutena's Black Hole Laser. Number 3, Charlie Nash's Judgment Saber. Number 2, Septile's Forest Flash. And the number 1 spot goes to. Number 
To be in the number one position, the finisher has to be brutal, flashy, and powerful as all hell, and I think I found the perfect one. You'll regret this. Ours, Magus. Science is true power. Holy shit some. Alright, let's break things down first. First, Kokonai does a mini fist combo, then throws her opponent in some sort of imprisoning device, then summons a giant meteor to finish the match. Holy crap, talk about overkill. More deserving of the number one spot. And I am the Hellfire Monkey, in case you forgot who I was, and I'll see you guys next time.